Hello guys, this week on the channel we continue exploring Laravel Daily.com website source code and I find quick gems to show you and today let's talk about duration of the courses where my colleague David came up with a pretty interesting solution with creating a helper class of duration specifically for that. So the duration of the course is saved in the database in minutes and how do you calculate that in hours and transform into this format. Of course, there are multiple ways to do that and under the hood you would probably use something like Carbon, but I will show you an example with kind of a broader idea that you could use not only for this specific case of duration. So first the result in the model. In the model of the course we have attribute of, we called it human duration. And here you can see duration helper class and we will get to what's inside in a minute where you can format it to however you want with hours for example. And those with hours is not a carbon thing. As you can see PHP Storm shows duration with hours. So what is a duration class and what does it do? If we click that duration helper, we land in a file of global helpers. So that global helper of duration just creates the class of duration from seconds that are in the database. And that helper class, by the way, is auto-loaded with Composer JSON like this. Now, what's inside of that duration class? Here it is. It's kind of like a helper class using carbon interval under the hood. And it is an app support folder, but you can place it wherever you want. And the main thing I wanted to show you is the functions of that class return this. So there's an object of, in this case, duration, which you can use to chain multiple methods with it, like you would do with carbon object, like it is very common to do with filament projects, just chaining method after method, transforming the results, adding new behavior. So this is exactly what you see in the model. Duration creates the object, then we format that, and then we add hours to it. So from seconds, return this. You transform the object, you create something, and you return this, which means return the object itself. Then also format, adds the format in this case, and also returns this. With hours, add some behavior, return this. And then if you want to just return the object, you would need to have to string here. In our case, to string calls another method, render, which has some more logic. I don't want to dive too deep why is this coded with the logic about interval or duration. My goal here is to show you an example of a helper class with chainable methods for multiple transformations. Another typical example would be Laravel collections with eloquence. So you would do something like eloquent get and then map something and then key by something and use multiple collection methods to get the final result. And by the way, I have a separate course on that with 15 examples from open source about that chaining of collection methods. So you may check that out as well. I will link that in the description below. So what do you think about this approach to create a separate helper class with some methods, with a helper method to avoid creating the class every time. And then whenever you need the actual result, you call that helper, change some methods, and it's more readable for the developer who actually works only with the final code. Meanwhile, the implementation of that duration class is kind of hidden in its own helper class. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments and see you guys in other videos.